Russell Fork Pharmacy is your locally owned pharmacy, offering fast, friendly service with competitive prices and free delivery. Call 606-754-7085. Visit RussellForkPharmacy.com and download our free mobile app for refill requests and more. A Pike County man under indictment for allegedly strangling his girlfriend in July has had his bond in that case revoked. The revocation comes after the man was arrested again just last week on the same charge for which he was already under indictment. 36-year-old Dyke Newsom of Mike's Branch near Pikeville appeared today in Pike Circuit Court before Judge Eddie Coleman. Coleman ordered Newsom's bond be revoked on an indictment from earlier this year, charging him with first-degree strangulation after Newsom was arrested on a new strangulation charge last Friday. Newsom's defense attorney Ron Diddle told the court that given the circumstances of both the indictment case and the new case, he could not defend Newsom against the motion to have his bond revoked. I'm hard pressed to make any kind of argument on his behalf at this time. Uh, I really wouldn't know what kind of defense to, to put up right now. Assistant Pikes Commonwealth Attorney Melissa Goodman said in both the July incident and last week's incident, Newsom allegedly strangled his victim in the presence of the woman's child. She said Newsom's alleged pattern of violence against his girlfriend, whom is the alleged victim in both cases, is disturbing and warranted the bond revocation. She got a domestic violence order against him, and when he came to circuit court, he was ordered to not have any contact with her. We are here today in court because on Friday, December 6th, he violated those orders, uh, was back around her, and again, he strangled her again. So it appears to be a pattern of conduct uh, with Mr. Newsom. Goodman also said this latest incident occurred on the same day that Newsom appeared in Pike Circuit Court and was released from one of the conditions of his bond from the earlier case. On December 6th, Mr. Newsom came before the court seeking a modification of his bond, and that would be he was asking to go off MCR. That's monitored conditional release where a person has to check in with pretrial every so often and they have to call in every day to see if they're drug tested. He was removed from MCR and the very same day he picks up this new arrest for again strangling Shelly Lowe. Any, even in the first incident was a concern to me because he almost strangled the life out of Shelly Lowe. So yes, the fact that he's been to court and he's been ordered twice now to have no contact with her and he does have the conduct and he strangles her again, it's really um, an eye-opener as far as her life is concerned to him. I really am in fear of Shelly's life. So we had his revoked bond revoked today, so he will be staying in custody until at least the next court date, which is set for January 31st. Goodman said it is not uncommon for victims of domestic violence to return to their alleged abusers. She said the reasons vary, but the fault falls squarely upon the person committing the alleged abuse. So it's really an insult to the court that Mr. Newsom would snub his nose at court orders. I used to prosecute domestic violence cases uh, in Fayette County and through my years of prosecuting domestic violence cases, I've learned that domestic violence victims are often either emotionally dependent on their perpetrator or financially dependent. And just for various reasons, uh, they, it's not unusual for them to go back around their perpetrator. Newsom is still lodged in the Pike County Detention Center. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Chris Anderson.